Now, I really like the Metcalf kits. The card kits are easy to assemble. They're extremely well printed, well pre-cut. They go together very easily. There's a few little wrinkles sometimes, but uh, they look really good. However, they do have one slight defect, and that is wherever the card is folded, you end up with little lines like the white line along the roof or the lines in the corner of the brickwork. So I thought I would try using some watercolour paints to see if I can just mask that a little bit. Never tried this before, so it's uh, going to be a little voyage of exploration. So I bought myself a set of watercolours from Hobbycraft. I think it was £6. Uh, good range of colours. We've got some brick reds. We've got plenty of greys and greens and other colours and uh, see how we get on. So I'm just going to first start by just colouring in that white line along the ridge tiles which is just a little bit of an eyesore. So which colour? I think we'll go for a... Not too dark. I'm just going to put a very small amount of the uh, watercolour paint on. Don't want too much just to see how it covers up. And if I get a little bit around on the ridge tiles themselves, hopefully, because it's quite thin paint, it won't make, show too much. It'll just nicely blend that crack in. I'm very pleased with that. First time I tried it, it looks pretty good. So having blended that in, let's try one of the corners. And here I need something that's going to be a brick red. Uh, Possibly that colour, that's a little bit dark, that looks a bit bright. I think we'll go for the, the bricky red colour. We'll just uh, put a little bit of water on, and see what it comes out as. Do this quite thin, just put a little drop, dribble down, just down the crack, up to the top. Just, uh, might need another coat on there just to take out all of the colour. Now the other defect with these kits <laughs> and these corners is that they are recessed. So I have had a thought, what I might try doing is putting some acrylic thinner in and then painting over the top of that. So we're going to try that in a moment. So what I'm going to try is putting some acrylic thinner in one of the other corners of this little building. Uh, the corner that's less likely to be seen from uh, the viewing side of my railway. And in fact, we've actually got the seam in the brickwork here where the kits join together. Uh, so I'm going to try putting a little bit of filler down there and then we'll leave it to dry and we'll come back and see if we can paint it. Now, this is a white plastic putty. Um, very good because it's got a very thin nozzle and we're going to see how we go. A little bit all the way up and then I'm going to use the wonderful thing finger technique to smooth it out get rid of any excess Okay, so that's just neatly smoothed out. Okay, and we will leave that now to dry with the crack filled and then we will see if we can either use some acrylic paint or perhaps the watercolours again uh, to cover it up. So I'll let those two corners dry. Uh, looking at the top, the, the ridge tiles, uh, definitely the white line is a lot less noticeable but I think Perhaps when this is dried, I'll give that another little light coating of grey just to uh, fill it in. Uh, I think that might be a good idea. So here we are back with the uh, card model and it's had a few days now to dry off. And actually that top line has faded in pretty well. I think we just need a little bit more colour. So we will uh, have a look at that.
where they go in that crack not getting too much on the rest and it uh, seems to be working quite well quite pleased with that result it's a little bit too much there but a bit of staining on the roof tiles won't matter and while I'm here I'll just uh, catch you and probably see the end there the white card showing through just move it on there and down the top at the end of the tiles just to And then we'll have a look and see how that brick corner worked. I haven't looked at it yet, so it's going to be interesting for both of us. So uh, if we have a look at that front corner, this one here, so we put a little bit of red down. It's it's. If we compare it with that corner, which wasn't done, that one is definitely a little bit more uh, hidden. And in this corner, we have got the uh, the filler. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to try and get a little bit more brick colour into that corner just to put a second coat on just to see how that goes. It's uh, going not to get too much onto the brickwork. There we go, right. So it's just a little bit and we'll put a bit, since while we're at it, a bit on this other corner that didn't get it last time. Right, and now we'll have a look at that uh, filled corner. We'll just see if we can. Uh, Put some watercolour over the top of that. What happens then? With this one we might just need a bit of to let that dry in. And I think uh, just looking at the colour there, I think we might just need a little bit of uh, of a brown as well, just to help to just a bit of brown. to fill that, darken that down a bit, make it a little bit more bricky coloured. Okay, so there we go. We have uh, retouched that roof. It's not looking too bad. Um, if it, that doesn't work, I might just uh, put a little bit of the darker, more the sort of blacky, um, it comes a bit up and make a bit of black grey, just, uh, just to darken it down a bit, because it just does look a little bit white. There's a little bit of sort of water stain as well that's sort of just just not too much water just to smooth it in. Right, there we go. I'm really happy with that. So uh, we'll leave that and we'll come back to it a little bit later. Well, here we are back several hours later. Let's have a little look. Well, the uh, the line on the top of the hut has faded in really well. It just looks like now it is just part of the tiles themselves. So that's good. The end has dulled down. We've lost that white bit. You can see the difference at the other end of the white bit there. So that's good. Another coat. We'll just help that in that corner yeah I think I just need to put a little bit of perhaps a slightly darker red in there a bit of brown perhaps into it um, just to it looks a little bit pinky to me that's just the criticism and as for what I filled well the has taken a little bit so I think uh, we'll Try that a little bit later with a bit of brown. So, reasonably pleased with that, and uh, I think uh, if you do use the Metcalf card kits, then think about getting some cheap 
uh, ward colours and using that to fill in the corners and just take away that little grey edge that, like you can see up the chimney there and up that corner there it'll just blend that out nicely so hopefully that's been useful